All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We're back at it with FSD Beta 12.3. Going to make a quick Costco run from a dense urban area, downtown area to the highway and then to Costco. So we're going to start in the dense urban area now as opposed to going to the dense urban area, which we typically do just to get a feel for, get a sense of how FSD Beta works in these areas as we make our way towards New York City and then uh, go from there. Nothing major to report on just yet. It's very, very good right now uh, relative to other FSD beta versions. That is, um, visualization is good. I feel like it's sort of capped at what it can visualize. There's so much more here that I know it sees, but is limited in the visualization, I think.
right now we're starting to get from the city streets portion of it uh, to the highway. Speed should be picking up. People are driving extremely fast, um, so the offset is even slow. But it's all good. Very comfortable. Not much to say. <laughs> Not much to say. Uh, I, I typically don't do dense traffic, like I said before, just because you wind up just sitting here wasting minutes of, of film and footage. Uh, filming it, just doing a bunch of nothing, stop and go, back to back, bumper to bumper. Um, so that's why we, we tend to stay clear of stuff like that. Uh, there's no real busy city area around here where you have this level of density of traffic where everything is just f free flowing and moving. It's always stopped, gridlocked, etc. So we'll see what happens. Uh, now we're going to jump on the highway and see how we do there. Speed should change to 40 here and then ramp up from there. Auto offset goes to 44. Starts to make its way. Great. Would love for it to stay in the middle lane. But it's fine. Cars fastly approaching behind us, going around us. Uh, I may want to force it into the middle lane. Let me do that just because we're not moving the appropriate speed to be in this lane. I'll wait for this car to pass. And the offset is off, actually. That's what it is. So the auto offset is only for city streets, it seems. Or at least not this particular road kind of cut off on me so I just jumped up to a higher speed now it kind of went to its own max as well a little tight on the corners here not liking that which is why I wanted to go in the middle lane we're by the water so a lot of wind blows the car as well I'm gonna go ahead and force the, the lane change here just because it caused the car to sway a little bit and so if you're already close to something on a turn or a bend and the wind blows, that could disrupt things as well. So I'm gonna try to keep you here.
Great job. Speeding up to get around this car to get into the lane it needs to get into. Has to actually make the maneuver there. Good job. Nice aggressive but competent and confident turn into the uh, exit. Needs to slow down here. Good job slowing down. Controlling for the, the turn here. A little too close, a little too close. But again, I've always professed to Tesla in te all my years of testing um, that it needed to have the car lean in on the turns, meaning get closer to the inside line, but not that close. Like I got what I asked for in spades. Um, it's getting a little too close when it turns in. It should definitely bias towards the inside line like a race car driver or like the rest of the car so that we're all even in our distances, especially if we're turning and two cars are parallel, but not that much. And here we are in this in another mass of traffic. Hmm. Well, if you guys want a dense traffic, here's dense traffic. Give you what you want. See how it handles this merge here. There's actually a shortcut to get to this Costco. I don't think the navigation knows how to do it. You can actually cut through, see where my finger is. You can cut through this lot here and Costco can get back there. It doesn't do things like that. And it's just going by what the navigation is. So if the navigation data doesn't tell it to go that way, it's not gonna go that way. Everybody else right here is doing probably doing that exact same thing. Auto offset is back. Even though this is more of a highway road too, it's more of a local highway road or passing through this area is more local. So auto offset seems to be back. Uh, but maybe auto offset is actually speed limited, not location limited. Maybe when you get above a certain speed, it turns off and you kind of have to control the speed on your own. Not quite sure, haven't tested it fully to validate that. But that seems to be the case. Slow down. Aggressive slowdown here, again, just being able to look more forward. I feel like it seems as though the car is looking directly in front of its hood and not up at the other parts of the road. That's the sensation that I get when it makes maneuvers like that and, and breaks hard, even though we knew the cars were, were there. Good job stopping for that light. Excellent job stopping for the light. All right. Entering the Costco, the land of Costco. And the camera overheated again. So I'm not sure if I'm even recording right now. All right, guys, the camera overheated on me. Uh, we're in Costco. This person doesn't want to stop. Um, but yeah, we're in Costco. We made it. So getting to Costco, no problem. Tight traffic, no problem. Dense traffic, no problem. It can maneuver around tight quarters. It can do, it's, it's highly capable, is what I'll say. Highly capable. 
And basically what happens is from here, we just want to look at the edge cases. We want to look at the smaller things. We want to look at consistency. How well does it do things over and over and over again? And uh, now I think we are at a level of confidence, at least for now, to be able to make our way to New York City. So stay tuned for that video. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.